Okay, well, I'm not sure how much... Okay, people are starting to complain about that. It's not... This isn't addressing the exact educational stuff. Like I said, I'm not sure what problems directly need addressing well, other than the ones that have been gone over. I can I can go over the forum questions, I guess. Um, the... Uh, let's see. How do I download the game? That's honestly the biggest one, which you've actually covered several times, but basically joining... It downloads it for you. <laughs> yeah, if you join a multiplayer battle, it'll download everything for you. Now, some people have had some trouble with the engine download getting to 100% and just sticking there. And I can verify, uh, because users have sent me screenshots, uh, the engine actually is being downloaded and extracted, just for whatever reason it's not showing up. Um, about the only advice I have in that specific situation until I get it worked out is uh, to shut down the lobby, make sure it's completely shut down, restart it. It should, it should work at that point. I realize that's not a very good answer, but it's about the best I have right now because I've never got that to happen to me. Uh, it's very difficult to replicate, but plenty of people get it, so... It's, so it's definitely of, worth worrying about. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things that you're just like, ah, oh, you know, how? Um, what's other things? Uh, another thing that uh, has been plaguing people is the join and leave messages because there's been so much traffic. Just the chat turns into a giant join leave fest. You can actually uh, change those settings in Web Bobby by clicking on the settings tab and... Uh, right up there at the top, uh, fourth option down is, well, fourth thing down is show joins and leaves. Um, if you uncheck, if you uncheck that, it will pretty much take effect immediately, which can save you a little bit of, uh... No, I probably should. Sorry, where was that? I should focus on that. That was, uh, I'm this in the people. settings tab. Okay. Show joins and leaves. There we are. Yeah. And that will help out quite a bit with the join and leave spam. Um, there is still, unfortunately, some issues with um, uh, spam in the in the game, in the auto hosts. Sorry, in the actual multiplayer battles, and mainly with you know people joining and leaving and stuff like that. Uh, <sighs> and people spamming commands. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Car Repair and Icons have been working on this stuff pretty pretty tirelessly today. And so, yeah, pretty much the only thing I can do is plead for patience. Um, I realize that <laughs> not everything's perfect. We're well aware of this. But on the other hand, uh, we're definitely trying to sort it out um, I desperately want to release a new version of the game. I'm afraid to because because everything's um, going to download and break. Yeah, I'm afraid it'll just. I'm afraid people have trouble with downloads and stuff like that. So I just I'm holding off. Um, yes, I know the snake might be a little bit overpowered, but whatever. Uh, build more spas. Build, <laughs> build more spas. Build more dicers. Yeah. <laughs> Spaz, more Mossbergs. Geysers and Mossbergs. Yep, that'll <laughs> that'll sort you out pretty quickly because uh, those riot units pretty much render snakes completely useless. They don't kill them, however, so you need to have support. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unit mix is good. Yeah, Evor is all about unit mix, but that's kind of beside the point of the main problems we're having. So yeah, biggest thing to bear in mind: you need to connect or register first, then he'll need to be connected. Multiplayer, join anything really, but you, you're here for Evolution RTS, so join one of those servers, and then start the game. Like, admittedly, there's a few small problems with that, which are being worked out and making it easy, mostly with UI design. But basically, join a team, make AI, or join a team, have your friend join the other team, and then start the game. What's and that? that'll that'll be it. People also keep asking, uh, how do I even play the game? Well, um, there is the quick start, uh, or I'm sorry, the crash course guide that I posted in the forums. It's actually sticky on the Steam forums. 
Um, and I also posted it in the Twitch chat. Um, I'm just trying to look through the channels here and see. Yeah, the engine won't download stuck at 100% one is irritatingly common. Um, it's actually, that 100% means that it actually has downloaded. It's just uh, not syncing up. Yeah, it, well, actually, it's just not basically telling what web lobby that hey the engine's here um there is a little green reload button in the uh if you're in a battle next to the faction which will be outer colonies uh there's a little green circle reload button you can try clicking that technically it should do the trick but sometimes it doesn't um restarting web lobby should should with air quotes um sort out the engine stuck at 100% thing, but if it doesn't post on the forums, uh, post in the chat channels, we'll definitely, you know, be looking at that. Unfortunately, I myself am not one of the lobby developers, and so uh, as much as I would like to, there's not a whole lot I personally can do about it. However, like I said, car repair and icons are pretty much on top of it, like crazy. So... Yeah. yeah, so I think that unless there's any is there any other questions? Oh there's a small complaint here. One hey. sec, it's gonna I have to Hold on a sec. I need to figure out how to actually get this on so I can watch it myself without going to the stream. <sighs> hmm. Nope, apparently can't do that. Not easily. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, this is kind of highlighting a lot of uh, the weaknesses in the spring ecosystem, if you want to call it that. Um, unfortunately, well... <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe the end result we p will be positive. I'm actually quite sure it will be. But, unfortunately, there's... There's growing pains here, definitely. Um, and... Uh, let's see. Sacred Ass Cheeks. Now there's a name for you. You know, I've seen a lot of suggestive names. I haven't seen any offensive names. I've just seen some that kind of make me squint and some that kind of make me laugh and some that just make me stare at the screen. <laughs> Sacred ass cheeks, I believe, might be the latter. 